not had this where there has been some general purpose technology whose diffusion happened instantaneously everywhere. You know, our 5.3 family of SLMs are the most capable and most cost effective. They outperform models of the same size or the next size up even across a variety of language, reasoning, coding, as well as math benchmarks. In the ongoing quest to create the most powerful and efficient AI models, a new champion has emerged from the ranks of the small guys. Microsoft's Phi 3, a tiny AI model by industry standards, has been racking up impressive wins, including surpassing Meta's much larger Llama 3 model in key benchmarks. This development suggests a shift in the AI landscape where size might not be everything. So, we'll delve deeper to see what this means for the future of artificial intelligence. All about Microsoft's Phi 3 AI model. Recently, Meta, the company behind Facebook, introduced a new AI model called Llama 3. This model is open source, which means that anyone can use and modify it for free. Llama 3 has shown to be very powerful, even surpassing another well-known AI model called Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. This was a huge achievement for Meta, showcasing their advancement in AI technology. But now, Microsoft has just introduced an even more impressive AI model named Phi 3. Despite being Microsoft's smallest AI model to date, Phi 3 outperforms Meta's Llama 3 on various benchmark tests, used to measure the performance of AI models, comparing how well they understand and generate text, solve problems, or perform other tasks. Just last December, Microsoft released a new AI model called Phi 2. This model was special because it was much smaller in size compared to other big models like Llama 2, but still performed just as well. With Phi 2, Microsoft showed that we don't always need a huge model to get great results. This meant that smaller, more efficient models could do the same work without using as much computer power or resources. After Phi 2, Microsoft developed an even better model called Phi 3. What's more, Phi 3 could give responses that are almost as good as those from models that are 10 times its size. This makes it highly efficient and suitable for many applications where big models might be impractical. One of the main benefits of smaller AI models like the Phi 3 Mini is that they are cheaper to operate. Large models require huge computing power, which translates to higher costs for running them. In contrast, smaller models use less computing power, making them more cost-effective. This is particularly advantageous for companies looking to integrate AI into their operations without incurring high expenses. Companies can now achieve high-quality AI performance without the need for extensive hardware or big financial investment. This affordability could lead to AI becoming more accessible and useful to everyone, including businesses, to leverage AI technology, enhancing their operations and competitiveness, and not just those with the resources to handle massive models. Another significant advantage is that smaller models perform better on personal devices such as phones and laptops. Large models typically need powerful servers to run efficiently, but smaller models can operate smoothly on everyday devices. This makes advanced AI capabilities more accessible to individual users and small businesses. For many companies, smaller AI models like Phi 3 Mini are more suitable for their specific needs. These companies often work with internal data sets that are relatively small. Large models are designed to handle huge amounts of data and may not be as efficient or necessary for smaller data sets. Smaller models can process these data sets more effectively, providing faster and more relevant results. Microsoft's work with Phi 2 and Phi 3 shows that the future of AI might not be about making bigger models, but about making smarter, more efficient ones. Microsoft's Phi 3 has been created with a block structure and tokenizer that closely resembles Meta's Llama model. This design choice is intentional, as it aims to make Phi 3 very friendly for everyone in the open source community. This means that software libraries, algorithms, and other resources developed for Llama models can be readily applied to Phi 3 Mini. You won't have to start from scratch to explore new applications and capabilities of Phi 3. You can just adapt what you have, saving time and effort. Microsoft Phi 3 Capability and Features One of the standout features of Phi 3 models is their ability to deliver high-quality outputs. This means the answers and solutions they provide are detailed, accurate, and useful. 
A remarkable aspect of Phi 3 is its context length, which is as extensive as GPT-4 Turbo, reaching up to 128,000 tokens. Context length refers to the amount of text the model can consider at once when generating responses. A longer context length allows the model to understand and respond to more complex queries and topics in greater detail. This capability is significant because it means Phi 3 can handle large amounts of information at once, enabling it to provide more detailed and comprehensive responses. It also suggests that Phi 3 is highly advanced in its understanding of language and context, surpassing even larger models in some aspects. Unlike bigger language models, Phi 3 is designed specifically for consumer devices like smartphones. This means it can run locally on these devices without needing constant internet connectivity or powerful external servers. This is similar to Google's Gemini Nano, which also focuses on being efficient and compact. This makes it a unique and practical choice for everyday users. Phi 3 is incredibly efficient in terms of memory usage. When it is reduced to four bits, it requires only 1.8 gigabyte of memory. This small size makes it possible to run the model directly on smartphones and other consumer electronics, which typically have limited memory and processing power compared to full-scale servers. Despite its small size, Phi 3 is powerful. For instance, on an iPhone 14 equipped with an A16 chip, Phi 3 can process over 12 tokens per second. Tokens are chunks of text, and the ability to process 12 tokens per second means Phi 3 can generate or understand text quickly and efficiently. This makes it suitable for a wide range of applications. With Phi 3, personal assistants on smartphones can become much more responsive and intelligent, providing quick answers and performing tasks without needing to connect to external servers. Phi 3 can also power real-time language translation apps that work instantly on your device, which is useful for travelers or in multilingual environments. Additionally, apps that require natural language understanding, like note-taking apps, chatbots, and email clients, can offer more advanced features and smoother performance with Phi 3. Microsoft Phi 3 Training Mode Microsoft believes that the success of Phi 3 is all thanks to the data it was trained on. Phi 1 was all about learning to code, while Phi 2 started to understand reasoning. But Phi 3 is the better version of Phi 1 and Phi 2 combined. It's good at both coding and reasoning. Now let's get into how Phi 3 was trained. Microsoft used a smart approach. They gathered a lot of data, but they didn't just throw everything in. Instead, they focused on specific types of data that would help Phi 3 learn better. They filtered out things like sports scores because, let's be honest, that's not helpful for coding and reasoning. Instead, they picked out data that would boost Phi 3's knowledge and thinking skills. Microsoft also used a method called a curriculum to train Phi 3. It's similar to how kids learn from bedtime stories and simpler books before tackling bigger topics. They started with the basics and gradually moved on to more complex stuff. This helped Phi 3 learn step by step, just like how we learn new things. In the Phi 3 family of models, the Phi 3 small model has 7 billion parameters and was trained using 4.8 trillion tokens. Despite its smaller size, it performs well in tests when compared to similar sized models. With double the parameters of Phi 3 small and Phi 3 medium clocking in at 14 billion parameters, this model is trained on the same massive data set. It also shows impressive performance in benchmarks, just like its smaller sibling. Phi 3 Mini is the star of the show. It's smaller than the other Phi 3 models, with only 3.8 billion parameters. Despite its smaller size, it still packs a punch. It's available on platforms like Azure, Hugging Face, and Alamea making it accessible to users everywhere. Microsoft's Phi 3 versus Meta's Llama 3. Now, let's talk about performance. The Phi 3 Mini is a beast. Even though it's smaller, it manages to outperform Llama 3's lower tier models. And while the bigger Phi 3 versions might not be at the very top of the leaderboard, they're not far behind other large AI models in benchmark scores. These models are tested using benchmarks like MMLU Language Comprehension and MT Benchmark. Phi 3 Mini scores an impressive 69% on the MMLU Language Comprehension Benchmark and 8.38 points on the MT Benchmark. These scores show just how powerful and capable these models are. 
despite their varying sizes. Llama 3 is a strong performer on many benchmarks. However, when it comes to more complex tasks that involve detailed problem solving, intricate reasoning, or advanced coding, Llama 3 struggles to keep up with Phi 3, especially the Phi 3 model with 7 billion parameters. Regardless, both Llama 3 and Phi 3 are powerful AI models that can be used for a wide range of natural language processing tasks such as text generation, summarization, question answering, and sentiment analysis. In addition, both Llama 3 and Phi 3 are suitable for edge computing scenarios. Edge computing involves processing data on devices like phones or laptops rather than sending it to a central server. Because Llama 3 and Phi 3 are compact and efficient, they can run directly on these devices. It has lower latency, meaning it reduces the time it takes to process data and keeps the data more secure. Phi 3 models have become strong competitors in the world of AI, showing that you can achieve a lot even with smaller models. Researchers and developers are now excited about the possibilities of creating compact models that are both powerful and efficient. This means we can look forward to more advancements in this area with new models that push the limits of what small AIs can do. The AI community focus will likely be on making these models smarter and more efficient, finding new ways to maximize their potential while keeping them small. This trend promises a future where advanced AI capabilities are more accessible and widely used, benefiting a broad range of applications and users. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.